What's up, horror fam? Steven, a.k.a. Bojangles here, and come closer, my friends. I have something scary to show you. Okay, so after receiving an unsolicited package at my door, I've been inspired to go over 10 rules to survive Halloween. Um, I mean, according to horror movies. Is that better? We cool now? Dang, these spirits are touchy around Halloween. Alright, let's check out our first rule. Number one, leave the pumpkin lit until midnight. Trick or Treat taught us if you want to survive Halloween night, you better leave the pumpkin lit at least until midnight. You're supposed to keep it lit. Why? Uh, ancient tradition? Henry, it's Halloween, not Hanukkah. Okay. Baby, I'm honey. lit, and you're lit. Well, honey, Your little friend here. This night's over. <laughs> yep, you hear that little gasp? Sam is pissed, and we know what happens to this chick. As a matter of fact... Oh shit, be right back. I hope electric pumpkins count. Number two, don't dress as an active serial killer. Poor Lori Strode never got to know the love that Ben Tramer could have offered her because on Halloween night, good old Benny decided to walk the streets dressed up in the same costume as Michael Myers. Now granted, Dr. Loomis jumped the gun, so to speak, but that isn't helping Ben out any, now is it? As a matter of fact, he and Myers even suffered the same fate. Well, one is like well done, and one is probably more like medium well, but you get the gist of it. So, take it from Halloween 2 and don't dress as an active serial killer. I think I'm pretty good on that one. Number three, always check your candy. We've been hearing it for years, my friends, but you always have to check your candy. Remember the kid in Halloween 2 who bit into the razor blade that was inside of an apple because of assholes like this guy? Damn rotten kids. They'll get what they deserve. Yes. They'll get what they deserve. Tonight. <laughs> So, take advice from movies like Halloween 2, Night of the Demons, and Trick or Treat. After all, you don't want to end up like that bad Santa kid who ended up puking his guts out in Trick or Treat, do you? Always check your candy. Mm. Well, hey, I checked this. Number four, don't go to any parties. A lot of people use Halloween as an excuse to get wasted. Hey, whatever floats your boat but you'd do best to stay at home and keep that booty off the dance floor. Parties are like a breeding ground for horror movie sins with things like sex, drugs, and alcohol. All right, dudes! And you dances. Let's party! Plus, the temptation is just way too high for people to pull pranks on each other, hold a seance, drink four loco, etc. The risk is just way too high. Hey, what? I'm at home. Number five, never tell any local legends. It's Halloween, and well, I'll just let him say it. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? 
Still, you may want to hold off on telling any local legends to your friends. Every time this happens in a horror movie, shit goes down. Plus, just speaking someone's name aloud could be enough to warrant a return from the dead. Don't do it. The Mad Mad Boy! Oh, Richie, now you've done it. Number six, don't be an asshole. This one should just be general life advice, but you especially don't want to be an asshole on Halloween night. Remember the kid in Trick or Treat who went up and down the street smashing pumpkins? Dead. Remember the old man in Night of the Demons who wanted to put razor blades in apples? Dead. Remember Clyde's mean ass in Pet Cemetery 2? Dead. Plus, you may upset the wrong person and they could give you a trick rather than a treat. Which brings me to the next rule. Number seven, don't pull any pranks. I know, I know, the word trick is built right into trick or treat, so you may be tempted to pull a prank or two during the holiday, but you better think twice. What happens every time someone decides to pull a prank on somebody in a horror movie? Dead. This is especially true for those serial pranksters who can't help but pull pranks on everyone all night long. Don't be that guy. Boo! <laughs> I wish I had a camera. You look like you dropped the load, Junior. Or you may just end up being this guy. Wait a minute. Didn't I try that earlier? <laughs> well, no one was there. So it shouldn't count, right? I mean, no victim, no crime? Or maybe I'm the victim. Oh shit! Number eight, don't go trick-or-treating at abandoned places, even, especially, if the lights are on. Look, I know it's tempting to get loaded up on as much candy as possible while out trick-or-treating, but some places you're just going to want to skip. If the place looks abandoned, skip it. I don't care how many of your friends dare you to go up to it. Go in! Follow the advice of Dr. Loomis and... Hey, Lonnie. Get your ass away from there. Number nine, give out candy. Ignoring trick-or-treaters just isn't going to cut it. If you're not out trick-or-treating yourself, you better make sure you're giving out candy to everyone that comes to your door. Didn't you get one? As a matter of fact, hold on a second. Number 10, no sexy costumes. Man, do I really have to do this one? Okay, 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 fine. All right, ladies, look. It's gonna be tempting to bust out those sexy costumes. Mm -mm. God, it looks so good. But hey, you have to watch yourselves because the hot ones always get it in horror films. Damn those jealous undead spirits. And guys, you have to watch yourselves too. I know it's going to be tempting to go after the ones in sexy costumes. Mmm, so tempting. But we don't have any dates. But hey, you have to resist temptation, especially if the chick's out of your league. This dude is a fat pig. Maybe I'm in the mood for pork tonight. <laughs> You never know when the chick could turn out to be a demon, werewolf, vampire, or any other creature of the night. Alright, that's it. What this time, like, 